Cat lovers around the world will all agree that their pets bring them joy and entertainment, and they wouldn't trade them for anything. Having said this, they also have some very irritating habits. There are things that cats do that range from mildly annoying to nearly maddening, but the next moment, they do something that makes the anger subside. These loving creatures have the ability to make you laugh and smile for hours. They are also therapeutic, clinically proven to lower heart rates and blood pressure. Cats have so many redeeming qualities that it's easy to overlook their less endearing habits. Cats like to take charge. Most cats come to you as sweet little kittens that steal your heart and make you think that they can do no wrong. As they grow and mature, many of them develop a take charge attitude. They like to rule the roost and unless you are firm in training your cat, it will treat you as though you are the pet and it is the owner. While there are times when this behavior can be amusing, it can be highly annoying. This is particularly true when your cat tries to boss you around. They may not speak the English language, but your cat knows how to communicate with you. If you're not a cat owner, you may not get this, but anyone who is knows exactly what we're talking about. You suddenly have a second shadow. Despite their reputations for being aloof and somewhat detached creatures, cats really are dependent on their owners, and some are even clingy. Cats go through phases when they feel the need to stick to their owners like glue. Sometimes it's nice to have the companionship and attention, but when you want some alone time, and your cat is feeling clingy, you may not be able to escape. They are known to follow their special person everywhere they go, including the bathroom, the laundry room, the bedroom and any other room in the house. It can get annoying when all you want is a little time to yourself. Your cat won't care about that because when he's in cling mode, it will be hard to ditch him. They are a tripping hazard. You can go along for days or even weeks without tripping over your cat. He may be perfectly content to mind his own business for long stretches of time. Then it happens, he goes into a needy mode and suddenly, he's consistently under your feet. Nearly every cat owner has gone through these exasperating moments, and it's usually at a time when you're stressed out to begin with, compounding the situation. It's important to understand that your cat isn't trying to get under your skin or cause bodily injury. They are emotionally sensitive animals and when you are stressed, they sense that something is wrong. Cats feel anxiety too and when their favorite person is off, they instinctively gravitate towards you to make sure that everything is okay. Sometimes, the only way to get close to a busy owner who is on the move is to rub up against your legs, and when you're already in motion and distracted with other things on your mind, you may not see the cat that's just trying to get your attention to see what's the matter. A lot of swear words have been uttered by cat owners who have either stepped on their beloved pet or nearly broken their necks trying to avoid it. Cats will argue with you. If you're a cat owner you know that the more talkative varieties know how to stand their ground. And they do so vocally. When your cat first engages in a verbal argument with you it's a novelty and it's downright hilarious, but as time goes by, the attitude can wear thin. Vocal kitties will talk back when you scold them for something that they shouldn't have done. Cats can be stubborn and when your cat is comfortable with you, he will talk back. Some of these conversations can go on for a long time, and when you exit the room, don't be surprised if your cat follows you to keep the argument going. When it goes on for a while, it can become quite annoying. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. They will chew on your body. This isn't actually as terrible as it sounds, but it can be very annoying. Cats like to chew, perhaps not as much as dogs, but some are really horrible with this habit. When you're playing with your cat, he is likely to chew on your fingers. Our cat likes to chew on anyone's hair that he could, leaving a big slobbery spot. It's kind of gross and cats who have a chewing fetish can become quite vigorous, and although they're not trying to hurt you, if you allow them to continue, it can get too rough. Most cats will learn that they're not supposed to do this if you use the right training techniques, but some are so bullheaded that nothing can dissuade them. One of the worst things about this habit is that they are even apt to chew on your hair or socks while you're trying to take a nap. Definitely one of the more annoying things that a cat can do to a human. Cats like to lick people. Getting licked by the sandpaper rough tongue of a cat can be torturous. Not all cats are lickers, but most give it a try. If your skin is salty, or if you just came out of the bath or shower seems to be when they are the most interested in licking you. Some people believe that it's a sign of affection, while others believe it's their way of getting back at you for some perceived wrong. If you haven't been licked by the rough tongue of a cat, then you probably don't own one. Double getting your face scraped by a piece of wet sandpaper with the foul smell of their breath, which is usually fish-flavored cat food, and it's really not much of a treat. They jump on top of you. Cats love to jump on top of you whether you're sitting in a chair, reclining on a couch, lying in your bed or standing at the kitchen sink doing dishes. 
They are professional maulers and they will walk all over the top of you. Cats are also rollers. If you're wearing your favorite sweater, you'd better have a lint brush ready because they will push and roll on your lap until they find a comfortable position. Cats are also famous for springing off of ledges and shelves and landing on your shoulders. It's nice to be loved, but cats will push you to the edge with their need to be on you at all times. They wake you up at all hours. Cats don't really have a certain time that they value over another when it comes to play. If the mood strikes them, and you're asleep, well, too bad. This is one of the most annoying things that cats do to people. It doesn't matter if you're just trying to catch an afternoon nap, or if you've turned in for the night. Your cat decides when it's time to sleep and when it's time for you to wake up and give them some attention. Play isn't the only reason that they wake you up. If their food dish or water bowl is empty, it won't matter to them what time it is. Their incessant crying will force you out of bed to investigate what's going on. It seems like cats will find any reason to deprive you of your sleep. They are the things that go bump in the night. For whatever reason, cats love to play hard in the middle of the night. After all the lights are out and the house is quiet, you'll swear that a burglar has broken in and is rummaging through your things. Cats are generally smaller animals, but they certainly can make a lot of noise. Be prepared for them to jump on countertops while you're snug in your bed. If there is anything lying around that they can possibly knock over, nighttime is their favorite time to do it. You can also hear them running up and down the halls and making loud bumping and knocking noises as they jump up and down, or bat an object around the floor. They meow at the worst possible times. If you have a baby in the house, you can count on your cat to make racket just as soon as you put the baby down for a nap. They are experts at meowing loudly and waking up small children. You may wonder, how do they know? Some cat owners think that it's just a coincidence, while others believe it to be a sinister act of passive aggression. Perhaps extreme quiet in the house bugs them and it's a signal that it's time to liven things up. It seems as though cats only use their loud voices when it's the most inconvenient for you, but when you weigh all the benefits that they bring into your life, this annoying habit is a small trade-off. Cats headbutt you. Hands down, one of the most annoying things your cat can do is to give you a headbutt. Almost every cat owner has been the victim of this and it isn't much fun. A light bump is one thing, but cats can get a little too carried away with this, and coming head to head with a frisky cat can be painful. It doesn't seem to phase them much, but you could end up with a bruise or a small knot on your forehead. On a side note, it also hurts like heck when they bang you on the cheekbone with their hard foreheads. In case you're wondering why a cat does this, it is simply an aggressive act in order to get your full attention. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.